Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to my daily video. I'm actually going to be doing quite a lot of random things today. I'm going to be doing some PvP fights. I'm going to be showing you guys some projects I'm working on. And also some, you know, the, the events out, I'm going to do some rolls for that as well. Now, I can't really do any summonings. I'm actually going to save my eggs for another video because I don't have that many eggs. And I think it's probably more exciting for people to see me pull like maybe 20, 30 eggs at the same time instead of just like pulling five every single day. Um... So, I think first things first, while, while we, you know, since we have to wait for the arena list to like refresh and stuff, I can actually do some fights, do something else, come back, and then do another fight. So we're going to start off with this guy. Um, he is a full light team with a light Thor, Snowy, Venus, and Victoria. It's a pretty, pretty interesting team. I can try, I actually want to test out my, um, my other offense, the one with the Cupid and Kira and the, the two Gatitos. I think that's definitely super, super fun. I, I really do like using that that team for offense because it it um you you ki you kill people faster but then it's like also really really high risk so it's, there's a lot more excitement um when i'm using this team compared to like using triple mihos because whenever i use triple mihos it's like i only have one possible thing i can do and i think i think two units three units should be able to kill this these three Ooh, they have another snowy. So close. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. I think this Cupid should be able to finish the snowy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna going to um, boost up my bar with my Gatito. And then I'll one shot this um this Vic. Alright, they're still hitting my shocked Gatito. But th these two don't really have any damage since they're built like full tanky. So I'm going to heal him up, and I'm going to start working on this door. You know, it could have went really badly if, for example, the Victoria and Snowy, both of them hit this Gatito, and then Thor went for this Gatito and stunned him. Like, there's obviously um, a chance that I actually could die, or could lose. There's actually a pretty pretty high chance that I lose, but it's it's kind of like uh, <laughs> it's kind of like playing Russian roulette when you're using this team. That's why there's a lot of exciting excitement factor into it. All right, this is a pretty defensive team. He's worth a lot of points, so I'm going to definitely be going for him. Um, yeah, he's just really tanky, except for the Nightmare. The ni Nightmare is probably what I'm going to be aiming for first. Hopefully they don't have anything too threatening. Hidden. Mm, I don't know how this is built. Nightmares for an attack monster actually have pretty high like defensive stats. Or Fire Nightmare, I mean. Yeah, I'm going to need both Gatitos and this Kira to kill it. Ooh, it's a hunter. That is... Ooh, it's built full attack, too. But it is actually fine. Um, guess we'll finish him off with this. And then we'll start working on this, um, this Victoria. Okay, I think my Cura should definitely have enough damage to kill this Victoria. And I will... I don't think this Gatito has enough damage. I have to use this one. Just one-shot this Venus. Then I'll one-shot this rock, um, Pebble as well. Okay, this is pretty good. This team's actually quite sick. It's it's really fast. Like it, uh, It's, it's kind of risky, but it's also super fast. So if you want to clear a list like, super fast, you can, you can use... Um, you, can, you don't have to use a Dark Hero, you can actually use something like um, Light Succubus. A I know a lot of people bought that pack. I was actually thinking of not using the Dark Cupid and using the Light Succubus for, for her HP lead instead. But the good, good thing about having only one element is even with Light Monsters, with them having Light Monsters on defense, they're not always going to attack these Gatitos. They have a chance to attack my Dark Monsters as well. So I think that's actually pretty nice.
Mm. Alright, we'll just kill this. Hope it's nothing too serious. You know, I would have preferred if the, this Cupid was actually a healer with some sort of CC. That actually might have been better. Ooh, I'm not going to get a full bar with this. I guess we have to use this to combo and kill the Arthur. It's kind of the only way. Hope they don't hit this Katito. And um, and we got to kill this Arthur next turn. I'll just put a little bit of damage, but this Katito should be able to one-shot him. For sure. This um, offense also relies a little bit on their the way AI works. Because uh, if you have one unit that's lower than others, the AIs tend to focus that unit to try to finish it off. So if I just have one Gatito that's like almost dead, then I can actually just try to protect my other still living Gatito. And the HP lead for the Cupid actually helps out quite a lot because um, it makes it so I, like even if, even if um, they target my Gatitos on the first turn, there is a chance, like a pretty high chance, that my Gatito just barely survives. And if it's not CC'd, then it still has a chance to, like, if it attacks during first turn with my Cure boosting up the bar, that's already 40%. Um, if the Blue Souls went to it, I can boost up the bar for another 10% again on second turn, and there's a very high chance that it already has its active up. Then I can basically take one person down with me um, while, while that Gatito is dying, basically. So basically you need HP lead bar booster, plus um, I actually would prefer to have like CC instead, because as you saw during the first turn, um, when, I, when, that, when I was actually, when I used my Cupid to hit that hidden monster, I can't remember what it was, I think it was an Arthur or something, when I used my Cupid to hit him, that it... It doesn't, didn't really really do anything. I mean, it did do damage, but it doesn't have any sort of like effect at all. So it would actually be better if it was a monster with some sort of CC. Um, I don't know if there are any healers with CC. Any healer with CC would actually be perfect. I don't know what's enough damage to kill this. I don't know if it's built with one slot HP, if it's built full glass cannon, probably one slot HP. So I'll just go with, um, ooh, that, she's actually pretty tanky. I'm going to have to use both Katitos. We're going to kill, the other two don't really have any sort of damage anyways. We'll just kill the Sea Star. Please, not this one. Ooh, they went for my Cupid for some weird reason. Hmm. What now? I think, I think they're out of threats. Basically just uh, hit this Cupid before he gets his shield up, and I win. And the thing is, when I'm, vers like, when I'm versus either a Cupid or a Light Venus or something like that, I'll have my shield up before his, or my heal up or whatever up before his because of my, my Cura boosting the bar. Guess we'll just finish him off with this. Man, Dark Gatito is so retardedly o OP. Like, this this monster is just broken. Alright, I think that worked pretty well. Now, since my list is refreshing and these guys are actually um, lower rank than me right now, it's not really worth it in terms of points. I'm going to go do something else. And I actually wanted to show you guys a little project, a little side project that I'm working on. So... The, the side project I'm working on is I, <laughs> um, it, it, it was a long story. Yesterday, I was ch testing out this Fire Valk. As you can see, she, she's Evo 2. I put her on this, like, really, really shitty siphoning set that only had one slot attack. But, um, she was, like, short a little bit of damage to be able to one-shot the monsters in Lunar Valley. So, I decided to boost up her damage a little bit by making her Evo 2. But, unfortunately, she still didn't have enough damage. She was still, like, a little bit short, um, sometimes from one-shotting monsters. So, I, I just got really, uh, irritated, and I, 
I basically took the gems off her, and I, I thought, uh, maybe if I put it on another attack monster, just any random attack monster, I might be able to get the same effect. So I put it on my Snowy, and it actually worked pretty well. Now, this set is basically, this is the only use usable gem. Like, it's it's a pretty good siphoning gem. It's got 18% crit. Uh, one of the rolls went, went into attack, but still better than the other two, to be honest. Um, f even the flat attack is still better than the other two. And then this is just like... Just, just look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna get banned on, banned on YouTube for like showing, showing you guys torture porn. Like this, this should not be allowed on YouTube. Um, and then I put in this like random recovery gem because it had like seven percent attack. Could probably take this to plus three. Maybe it'll give me, um, maybe it'll give me flat attack. Then I can like have slightly more damage. Okay, I really don't want to waste any gem, any money on this gem. It's just gonna be a filler until, until I get a better one. It's basically to complete the set, and yeah, even with just this one attack gem, the Snowy has been doing pretty well. Um, basically, on his AOE, he can. I haven't tested him out on fur further met further maps, but I've tested him out in Arya Lake and Mirage Ruins. He's actually well, actually no, I didn't test him out in Mirage Ruins. I tested him out in Arya Lake, and he's able to. Um, or she, on her AoE, is able to um, one-shot everything, basically. I don't know if it's going to work for Mirage Ruins. I think they're slightly higher level. But up to Arya Lake, it's fine. Now, the unfortunate thing is, since the Snowy doesn't have its own morale boost on first skill, um, I can't reliably get, get her bar up to full on first turn. And that's why the Fire Valk was so much better, but I think it w wouldn't really matter if I had just like three attack gems on the Snowy. So basically after first wave, she gets her bar and then she does her AoE. Oh no, I'm a little, I'm short of a little bit of damage. I think, I think I can only farm up to Aria Lake. I can't farm Mirage Ruins, but up to Aria Lake, it's, it's, it's pretty good. And then she does this and gets another full bar. So it's actually pretty nice. I mean, this weekend I'll try to get some siphoning gems, but there's no guarantee because Dragon usually gives me some pretty shitty stuff. I've also been leveling all my Courageous Strike monsters to try to try to use them um, for Titans and stuff. I'm going to start building a Titans team. Like after, after I record this video, I'm going to sit down make an actual Excel spreadsheet, and plan in a real Titans team. And then I think you, get, you guys in the next video or something can see my, see my new Titans team. So um, the other thing I wanted to do is obviously to complete the event. The... Whatchamacallit? The, um, the, the dice event. So I need to do either some fusions, some rebirths, or some soul stone summons. Now I'll see how many rebirths I can do. I got quite a few um, candlings. I was just testing out that fire falc for a very, very long time yesterday. I wasn't happy with it, but I, I did like you know I farmed all these firelings on the on Lunar Valley, so I'm gonna be rebirthing them. I always feel like it's lucky if I use five mo five of the same monsters, but no, it's not. Gave me another shitty hunter. Okay, that's 50 points. I don't really need the monkeys either. Oh, I need this. Um, what else don't I need? I don't need the birdie. Wait, I don't need the birdie, right? Okay, yes, I don't need the birdie. Alright, that's, that's another 50 points. And then if I do another one... Should I try to grab a variant hunter? Or should I save my variants for next rebirth? I never know. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Probably gonna get something nice. I remember this fire bath didn't really have good slots, and I also don't need the medusas because I all my medusas are variants. I might as well get rid of the candling. We'll see if this one comes out as a variant. Oh, I got a variant dark Victoria. Interesting. Now, if she doesn't have a square slot, it's actually safe to feed her. 
Ooh, this is double square triangle. Hmm. I don't know if I want to keep her though. I don't. I don't know if I need that many Victorias. I mean, I already got another one here. And double square, um, double square diamond is superior to double square triangle. I might actually use her for my next Victoria to try to get a get get the variant skill. So that's actually pretty nice. I actually got a variant Victoria. That's it's amazing. Um, interesting. All right. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna summon another Victoria from the the stone to get my last 50 points for the event. All right. I'm probably gonna use that that extra dark Victoria to make my second light Victoria variant. Um, Wait, where where is it? I think I have like two Victorias in storage, or maybe I p took them out of storage. I can't. My my memory is a little bit blurry. I I don't remember exactly, but um, I'll take it. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that variant Victoria. Okay, what what now? We got so many events to roll. I think it's uh it's this one, the dice event. We'll roll the dice event, and then we'll go back and do, like, a, a few more PvP fights. Two, three, four, five. Ugh, so close. 200 energy would, would have been sweet. Dragon sigils would be sweet, too. Two, two, two. Alright, I'll take the 200 energy. That's a, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of, uh, free astro gems. Oh my god, I was one away as well. Come on, one or two? One, two, three, four, five. It's probably gonna give me some some really, really shitty gem. I actually like these rolling events. It's actually it actually brings a lot of excitement. Um it's like summoning, like almost. I wish there was some animation for this. Low star stone times ten. All right, that was that was horrible. Come on, astro gem. Oh, I got a hundred. I rolled a hundred astro gem. Six star gem chest. I wonder. I wonder what's inside. It's usually something really shitty. I'm I'm at the point where like I'm super super um intolerant to my gems. I have to make sure they're super super good. Alright, let's let's open the, the boxes, see what I get. Alright, we'll open the four to six one, six star one first. Give me a six star valor defense. Probably gonna sell it. Uh, sad sad that I only had one substat, it's not gonna sell for too much. Alright, this one this one at least has one substat, so this will sell for actually no, it's a protection defense gem. I can probably use this on someone else. Someone I don't really need super good gems for. Now, um, there's actually one other thing I want to talk about. This probably won't apply to everyone, but uh, there is actually... Wait, there's a reward available? Oh, is it the legendary egg? I think it is. I'll, I'll pop it during the summoning video. I'm saving up my eggs. I'll, I'll pop it during the summoning video. We'll, I'll, we'll, save, we'll save all the eggs for a summoning video. But... Um, there's actually a package, like a gold package, for nine dollars, and it basically is two million gold and three six star gems. Now these gems for most people, or at least if you're at the point where you're farming um, B seven, eight, and nine, they're not going to be all that useful. They're pretty shitty. But two hundred or two million gold basically is like the equivalent of um, six hundred astro gems. And you can you can think of selling these gems as like the 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 amount of gold that you need to to do your sliming and stuff so if you look at it in terms of value it's actually a lot higher value than any of the other packs basically the the highest value besides the five dollar like the monthly five dollar pack and the the heroes festival tickets but then the heroes festival tickets like debatable because you can't use those as you can't really um say it's the same as astro gems because you can only use it to summon you can't use it as astro gems to like you know, farm more astrogens or, or anything like that. Um, 
but yeah, I think I'm, I'm like tempted to buy it because I bought it last time because they forced us to, they forced me to buy it because they they gave out that succubus package and I was like short some astrogems. So I basically bought all three packs, converted all the astrogems into or all the gold into astrogems, and I it got me like a hundred and uh, or eighteen hundred. Um, But the the thing that I want to wanted to say is like there actually might be a chance that they're gonna put out something similar to the succub succubus package, like they did before, and it might be the reason why they're putting out that pack again. So it's to like tempt players to be like, hey, if you're short a bit of astrogems, you can buy gold for nine dollars. I'm kind of tempted though. It'll. it'll Boost my progress a little bit if I if I actually do buy it. Hmm. What I do? I I don't spend too much money on this game. I only buy the five dollar packs now. That's like really all I do. And the Heroes Festival ticket. So I spend like eight dollars a month on this game. It's not too bad. What what do I what do I kill? I was actually seriously thinking, I was like, should I, should I get it? Oh god, it's a freaking, no, not the Katito. Yes, hit the Cura. Ooh, I got sealed. I think these two should be enough. Okay, I need to... Yes, I need to kill this, this Nightmare before she gets her AoE off. Let's put a little bit of damage on. Oh my god, I'm sealed. I knew it. I knew she was going to steal my second Gatito. That's why I, was, I tried to put a little bit more damage on her. Because I won't have the 50% extra crit damage from this. I think this should be enough to kill, though. What? No. It's like 1% away. What should I do? Finish this off. Let it heal. Let her heal. And put up the shield. I, I think it doesn't matter. Because I'll have a shield up next turn. So, whatever. Who cares? These two have no threat anyways. Oh, I should have went for the Cura. The seal on the Gatitos is really annoying. Alright, this Cura is so dead. We're about to take two Gatito actives to the face. Mm, this, this seems like a much stronger team. It's also a Nightmare League. It's got Leo too. It's got Arthur. I don't know if I can beat it with this comp. I might have to switch out a, to a different comp to beat this. But I'll, I'll try it first. I usually do the two at the bottom and then I do the random battle. Okay, who is highest threat? This? Okay, that was actually a little bit overkill. Ooh, not good, not good. Not the sea start. Don't seal my Katito. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm armor broken. This is sealed. Now what? <laughs> Wait, she has like 80 something re resist. Uh, the Arthur has his active up as well. We're, we, we have to kill the sea star. This Katito is dead, but um, maybe the other one will survive. Oh my god, it put an attack down on me. I think I have to heal. Maybe attack down active plus Cupid might be enough damage. Yeah, it's still enough damage. This monster is just retarded. Like, it's. He's, the Gatito is just broken, alright? <laughs> what? <laughs> what else do you want? Arthur puts attack down on his face. He's, he's just like, I, I don't give no fuck. I, I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man. Oh man, this... It's so nice that they gave us the Gatito event back. Um, I know it's not really worth the points, but I, I guess I'll, I can do one more, just for fun. So this is a Double Hunter Arthur Sea Star comp. Um, Hmm. I'm thinking about it. Maybe I should just kill the Arthur before he gets his active up. It's a little bit annoying. But then the Sea Star is also a really high threat. I might need to kill it first turn. But I don't know what's hidden. Alright, let's just go hard on it. Ooh, it's a Miho. It's pretty much the same thing. And I got stunned. Oh, wait, this. I think his bar is still not full. Let's uh, let's hit him a bit. Let's, let's rough him up a bit. Okay, at least this this other Gatito didn't die, so I can just do this. Um, yeah, the 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 hunters have like no threat. Like even if they kill both my Gatitos, it's like whatever. Cause I I got two healers and they have no sustain anymore. What? These guys were built with attack? I think I must I must have been drunk. Wait, what? No, it's not built with attack. This guy isn't built with attack. This one's built with attack. This this sneaky sneaky bastard. He 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 built his two um hunters differently. He built one with attack and he built the other one just like full tank. Hmm, very, very sneaky. Alright, that is pretty much it. Um, I'm going to be working on a clan battle team very soon. Like, I'm going to start seriously doing clan battles very, very soon. Um, it's, it's about time. Like, I, I, I said this, like, last month, but I, I never got around to it. But I'm going to seriously get around to it. I, I promise, alright. You'll start seeing some uh, clan battle-focused content very, very soon from me. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.